Hi everybody. This is War Pat and our backyard garden. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to talk about today. It's supposed to rain. But I I don't think so. It it earlier 5 20 minutes earlier we were out here refertilizing keeping up the fertilizer because of our tomatoes and stuff and it had like a, a sprinkle haze so okay so we're going out here so it had sprinkle haze so we watered anyway so the first plant we are looking at is our fig plant it is growing like off the chain growing when we got it last fall it was just the twig and now you see it's here buried underneath is an extra arm like this but i buried it because i wanted to keep growing taller so that um it'll get a little bit more bigger and we can keep it miniaturized by going a little bit bigger but it keeps growing it's happy something keeps eating it and I don't know what still very healthy though yeah very healthy very happy so the next one is the pepper plant oh I closed it because it's on that one plant okay and it is balling flowering and there's so many bulbs all over it's really excited and it's doing really really well we had a few peppers last year but our dog Henry loves to eat this plant which they say they're not you know dogs don't eat this but he is a grass eater so he will eat and loves the taste of this plant so we have to put a cage around it so he won't eat it but everything is is blossoming and getting ready even right here we cut it off back but it's starting to grow it's really really happy over here we still got the tomato plants and the carrots these little ones right here are carrots that's tomato Carrot, tomato, carrot, tomato, tomato, <laughs> carrot, carrot. This one's a tomato plant. And that one's great. Tomato, tomato, mm -hmm. carrot. It's really wild. Look at that. It's it's super happy. You sure that they're going. One? They're going really well, though. This one. You think oh, that's a tomato? A seed back there. I don't know what that is yet. Isn't one. that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure I didn't plant anything else out there? Yeah, over here I planted. Oh. Over here in the corner, uh, I planted some pumpkin seeds just to see. So they'll start working just to see if they'll take over here. It's more drier, more sandier. Um, and it, we get a lot of weed grass. So I wanted to see if the pumpkin seeds will take. So I grew that. These are my steps Michael made for me. And this, love my steps. It's awesome. This is my, right here, I planted some more pumpkin seeds to see if they'll take. Um, this was transplanted dirt from over there because it was high to over here because we had some hole we don't know. We moved in and there was a hole. So. The I dirt think, and the fertilizer that we took from that part of the garden. Yeah. We planted in this little hole right here to fill it in. Yeah. But it's still kind of a hole. I need to put more dirt on it eventually. My sunflowers that I experimented on are dying. But see, water is going up to it. And the reason why I know that is because you have the white fur. And so it's going up to it, but it goes back down. So you get that white mold when it's trying to succul be succulent. It's not mold. That's the hair. Is it really? Yeah, it's all the way down. It. That's how it's supposed to be. Here's the onion. 
So I haven't done any research on it yet, but I'm assuming that onions are just like potatoes in the sense that they have root systems. I need to figure out how that root system works so that we don't have any growing on the, that side of the fence. So I don't have to go out there and dig up some onions. But this one's growing really big, it's really good. Last weekend it was this high with this one in the middle and now look, it is just so happy. I don't understand, but it's excited, so am I. And it looks like it's spling to me because and then this is going to be another one because right here because it's not attached when no, I it's all the it. same it's just there's dirt in the middle of it well no because you can play with it more dying sunflowers but hopefully the seeds inside will spill out and yay then we got your sweet peas Lori's sweet peas oh my sweet peas are awesome look how big they are last weekend they were not that big from my from the first video but now they're getting bigger and look they have little babies and spores whatever you call them growing so that's exciting two of them and then I planted some more sweet pea seeds back here so um, because I got these as seeds and I use those little um, the fertilizer sticks I the fertilizer sticks works well for me to plant and to grow things and um but these were from seeds and they grew out really quick i got the seeds uh, from dollar tree so you get four packs for a dollar on these seeds and these seeds are really good i was shocked and impressed four packs for a dollar and there's a whole lot of seeds in them so yeah i was impressed the most recent when we went and bought all the little planters we also bought this uh grapevine as a uh, spur of the moment kind of thing it is. <clears throat> and Look. there's a ladybug on here my camera doesn't want to focus mm. you want me to touch it it'll focus okay there you go. Oh, there it is. Now you can see it. Isn't that cool? Ladybug, ladybug. But it's eating it. Just let you know. Should we? Yeah. So. Oh Hi, God. ladybug. So. Don't eat my plants. Um, Michael put this around here, and it's alive. You can feel it. It's hot. So it's it's, it's doing not its, hot. It's warm to it's the warm. touch. It's doing its ecosystem. Here, hold that. So I'm more vines growing out. I gotta wrap them so that I can control where they go. Yeah, and you want to do that, or so, else they're just gonna fall over and grow wherever the heck they want them to. I want them to grow up and then sideways, and then try to make them grow down a little bit. So right, but there's everyone, a new vine right here. So I'm wrapped it around here so that it would attach itself. Look, the sun's coming back. The out. sun is coming out. Put so, that there. but they always Hold say, it. everyone says to train your grapes. But I'm gonna ask Michael because this one he wrapped, and look how long that's already grown from the last three days we looked at it. So I don't know. Should we unwrap it a little bit so uh -uh. it won't hurt itself? Nope, it's not gonna hurt itself. Because it's, it's wrapped like four times. Yeah, I know. There's two different vines on here. There's this one and this one. This one is to hold in place. This one keeps growing. It grows towards the sunlight. Look at this one. Growing up. You see it? What? Yeah, I did that so that it would hold it in place. Oh, okay. So it doesn't move. That's what the vines are there for. It grows, it grows up. If it didn't have anything to grab onto, it would just grow across the ground and nobody wants ground grapes. No. Okay. So next we have the uh, the husky cherry tomatoes. Oh. And we've always had every time we've grown cherry tomatoes, we grew them back in Kansas, and when we grew them, they turned into basically a bush, and they were just like crazy big. Like we had regular tomatoes next to it and bell peppers, and it like overgrew the chair the regular tomatoes and it overgrew the bell peppers to the point to where we had to trim it back 
a couple times a week because it would grow so fast, grow so much. <clears throat> These are starting to flower. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how big they are going to be. We'll see. But over here in this, I planted some more pumpkin seeds because I want to see how it would work over here. Mm -hmm. To see if they'll take um, root or start growing. And then right here we have the regular tomatoes, the Heinz ketchup tomatoes. Heinz ketchup. And as you see, they're growing big. Yeah. Got new growth on it yeah, from the last cool. time we showed it. It looks great. Yeah, that's great. And then we've got the watermelon right here, which this, these were all planted. We got these good. like already grown. They, they didn't come from seeds. But this one has three separate vines coming out of one so hopefully one of these vines will take off and produce we tried it last year and it didn't really produce anything I mean it tried to grow a watermelon and then the watermelon just kind of gave up yeah the vines are about <laughs> I would say about uh, they were only about four four hundred feet four hundred oh they were about what four feet they were only about four feet long four feet long and, and then they decided to die but uh, back here in the back I planted some cantaloupe seeds because we re-fertilized everything. So I wanted to see if the fertilizers, fertilizers would take with the new seeds. This right here is where we had our broccoli. And there's a plant growing here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Touch it and smell it. But I'm pretty sure it's not broccoli. Because tomatoes plants smell. Weird. I don't know. But it's and growing. Then here we've got the cucumbers. We got some new growth on them. There's that. three different vines coming out of it. And new growth at the top. The looking happy and healthy. No bugs are bothering them. Yeah, which is crazy. Looks great. And then we've got green beans. More green beans. I put the green beans into little pods because they grow up as a little bush. So and they only get about this high, the green beans. So I did three pods and there's seeds, so we'll see. Yep. And back here, it's kind of hard to see, there's this metal rod. I uncovered where the roots were going and right here where this metal rod is, is where one of the potatoes is growing from our freaking monster potato bush. Look, a flower. It got huge. You see it? And they're starting to, they're flowering. There's, there's three potatoes. Oh no. There's three potatoes. There's one, two, three sets of flowers. So we looked online and that said that that means there's th gonna be three potatoes underground. I've only found two so far, but I don't wanna dig too deep right now. The other one is right here where this metal bar is. It's right here next to it, underground. So there's two potatoes coming from this big one. And then we've got... What happens? Why are they like that? They just fall off. Oh, they fall off when they're dead like this? Yeah, see? Oh, they fall off. okay. Because that's a straight And I just cut. knocked off that other just flower. knocked off one. It'll be alright. But see, don't you think there might be a fourth because of this one right here? There could be, yeah. It's four, four or five vines right there. But uh, underneath this, which is starting to overgrow our celery, this is our second generation celery. We, grow, we grew celery last year and I replanted the stalks at the bottom where the roots were and some of them I just cut so that I just took off what I wanted and left the root system in there. So these are all second generation celery coming from the same stalks as last season. And last season this one back here was our big daddy celery and it grew really big. I, I, I probably harvested it way too early, but it was still a lot of really big celery and it's growing again really big second generation Look at the bottom how thick those are See how thick that is Those yeah. are thick. Mm -hmm. That's like grocery store thick mm -hmm. But we did we did put little ties around them to hold them upright because they were just kind of falling over everywhere so I put little ties around them to hold them upright. Yeah, so you can get that grocery store. Wow, we have little so. birds over here crapping. 
Is that what that is? Yeah, that's bird poop. Ew. From the from the phone wire. It could be from that, or it could be from them just sitting on top of the house and dropping a load. So that's our backyard garden. That's our backyard garden. So now Michael knows all the stuff I said, where I planted those seeds in quietness. I did. I did a different video where I planted the seeds, and they were. I was telling him, don't say that. That's our garden.